what's going on. I hear people all the time. You see them on Facebook or whatever, or whatever they got going on, and they're doing vehicle tactic videos or teaching, eh, whatever. No problem. Okay, I'm not saying that what they're saying is bad information. I'm just saying that the probability of them showing you those kind of tactics and it actually happening are very slim to none. And we're talking about your standard, everyday, run-of-the-mill carjacking. Okay, when you start talking about carjacking. Ain't nobody gonna jack your car from the front. Why are they not gonna jack your car from the front? Because they know you can see them coming. Which means you gonna drive off or run them down. You ain't even gonna pull out the white pull out the pistol and start shooting, pulling out AKs and start shooting when well, you can just use the car as a weapon and just run their ass down. So no. What they're teaching is not that it's bad information, it's just the relevance of the information is just not there. Okay? Very low relevance for everyday people. Again, carjacking start from the rear of the car or from the side, never from the front. Hardly ever do you find a carjacking from the front. They always, for the most part, are from the side, like the passenger or the driver's side, or the um, rear you know, sides, or from the back of the car getting ready to come to the driver. I mean, that's just it's carjacking one-on-one, okay? Here it is. If you're getting ready to get carjacked for whatever reason, you won't even know you're getting ready to get carjacked. I'm going to tell you that right now. Because you're not looking for that. I know people say all the time, oh, you got to have situational awareness, blah, 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 blah. No one's situationally aware 100% of the time. It just doesn't happen. Hey, man, you in your car, you know, you listen to the, to the latest Wu-Tang or the Vibe Cartel album or whatever it is you're listening to, right? You're zoned out. Your music is blasting. You chilling. You know what I mean? That's This is what it happens. Or maybe you're not listening to the music. Maybe something your wife said or your husband said or somebody said kind of colored your day and thus you're thinking about that particular thing. So forget that idea of this warrior mindset and this situational awareness 100%. No one's going to have it 100%. Okay? Just being honest with you. All right, so you're in your car. And the per- you're getting ready to get contact. Again, you won't know you're getting ready to get contact for a variety of reasons. All right? I'm going to tell you that right now. But if you do suspect, and that's the best you can have, is a, is a suspicion. Oh, um, that's not even a word, but you know what I'm saying. Suspect someone getting ready to rob you or whatever for a carjacking. Always have your gun ready. Now, you already know me. I'm going to send you a picture, right? Uh, if you go on in this article or whatever, you're going to see the picture of where I keep my gun. And like I told you in the last video with how to be with a police stop and how to do it. You know what I'm saying? So that they don't have any reason to question you. Everything's laid out in the front for you, for the officers or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you the same thing here. If you're a man, keep your gun by your balls. Sit on top of the gun with the, with the, um, the handle of the grip vertical. You know what I mean? If you're a woman, hey man, I know you got little womanly parts or whatever. Uh, can we say vagina? I don't know. But yeah, whatever. You know, the, hey, keep your gun by your vagina. Whatever. I'm being honest with you here, you know. All right? It's faster that way. You ain't got to fumble around trying to get no uh, out of the holster or out of your purse or anything like that. It's just right there. So when you need that gun, it's simply right there. You ain't got to do nothing else. You know what I mean? It's right there. No one knows except you unless until they get to your car and they look down. But why are you letting people get that close to your car anyway? I don't know. It's beyond me. Right? Okay, again, your standard carjacking comes from the sides or the rear, n- almost never from the front. Unless you're in Afghanistan in some war torn country, people are jacking like that. But every day in this country, it ain't happening. It ain't happening. From the sides or the rear. Alright, so if you suspect that you're getting ready to get carjacked, no matter where they are, I'm going to show you all the different ones here. Have the gun ready. You may not always have to, quote-unquote, present the firearm. And when I mean probably present, I'm talking about like this, you know, right up into their face or whatever. You may not have to do that. You can keep the gun right here on the side. I'm going to tilt the camera so you can see. I hope this works. Can you guys see that? You can tilt that gun just like that to the door. For those who want to know how I keep my gun by my balls, I keep it just like that. Can you guys see that? I don't know if you can see that. All right, so that's how I keep my gun. That's what I do when I'm riding. Okay, but if I don't have to present that firearm, it's definitely at the door, okay? If I need that gun, right, because, hey, it's only a suspect, you suspect the person of doing it, then I go ahead and present that gun out to them or whatever. You see what I'm saying? 
Now, I'm not saying you got to have the gun to the door like this. You can have it down like here. That's fine. Yeah, you know I mean, but it's as long as you're ready. However you want to get ready, that's how you get ready. It is what it is. Now, if the person or the situation is from the other side, and I'm not going to get out of the car here. I don't have to. I'm just going to walk you through. I'm going to move this camera here so you can see what the world is getting at. All right, here we are. That person, the suspect, is coming from this side. This is why we call him a suspect, because this person is sus suspected of getting ready to carjack you. All right, he's walking up to the window, whatever. I can come here and get the gun, and I can do that. I can do that. That's fine. If I'm at a red light, I got my foot on the brake or whatever, I can use two hands and get that gun up. You see what I'm saying? You use two hands and do that. Very easy thing to do. The gun comes up here. Boom. There we are. Right? And if you're wondering if I'm slipping on this gun, this is not my normal gun. This is my wife's gun. This is a compact Glock uh, 19. Okay? So that's what that is. So if you need to do it, this is where the car system comes into play. We ain't talking John Wick. We talking the real car. You know what I'm You know, <clears throat> to me. You know what I'm saying? Center Access Relock, Paul Castle, the real car. Alright, we ain't talking about John Wick the movie. So when it comes up here, boom, right this where you need it. Right? If the person is coming from this side, I'm going to change the direction. You may or may not be able to see that. Take this down here. Okay, if they're coming from this side here, this is fun. You see what I'm saying? You have a good reach here. This is why the car system was invented. Right, if they're coming from the rear, hey, you got here. If you can't get here because of your seat, obviously, you can come here. You got some kind of coverage, you have something. If they're coming from the rear, right, I'm just gonna show you from the rear. They're coming from the rear, you can also come here. You have all of this, you have 360. Okay, I'm gonna let my seat back so you can see. Okay, and idealistically, you have 360 view, you get that gun up. Do what you gotta do. Very easy. I hear people all the time say things like, hey, you know, oh, the slide is gonna hit me in the face. It's not. I'm gonna demonstrate that to you right here. Slide is right here. It's not going anywhere. That's how much room you got from the slide. Okay? So, nothing to fear. Um, if you want to know, I love full-size guns, full-size compact, and yeah, that's so good for me. Hands are kind of big. I don't like them too much. But that's how you handle them, okay? So when you're out there, if you want to practice this here, go in your garage, go in your driveway, just practice it here. Let's keep things into perspective, okay? That is the number one thing. Keep things in perspective and, and watch the relevance of the training that you're getting. All of this running around here with armor, stop. The average person, don't one, don't even own armor. And two, the DA is going to look at it like, hey, you had time to don all that armor. You mean to tell me you couldn't call the police? You had time to don all that armor. You mean to tell me you couldn't run and get away? But instead you chose to shoot. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? So think legal. Think like an attorney. Think like the DA. Forget all of this wannabe John Rambo thing. Okay? practicality, practicability, applicability, you know, relevant, perspective, that's what's important, okay, you guys be safe out there, catch me on vadainc.com, I'm sorry, vadaconsulting.com, yeah, catch me on YouTube, Vada Inc., you know, just Google it, I'm there, you know what I'm saying, catch me on Facebook, Luciana Black, you know what I mean, yeah, catch me, uh, make sure you get the books, you know, hey, I write for a reason, the knowledge is there, Okay, so you guys be safe, alright? Bye-bye.